Meet Bob. Bob is absolutely passionate about teaching the English language and is always looking for new activities, resources, and teaching strategies to use with his students. Bob has two colleagues he regularly networks with at his own school, but wouldn't it be nice if he had other teachers he could work with as well? Meet Jill, an English teacher who lives on the other side of the country and would love to network with other like-minded teachers. Wouldn't it be great if Jill and Bob can regularly share best practices? I guess Jill and Bob can be pen pals and email each other every now and then, but this exchange would be limited to only the two of them. This is where a personal learning network can help, or PLN for short. So how do they network with other teachers? What tools should they use? Right now, many teachers are choosing to use Twitter to network with teachers all over the world. Using Twitter, you can get professional development anytime you need from the people that interest you the most. With a personal learning network, Bob is not simply limited to exchanging his ideas with Jill. He can get ideas from a teacher in the United States, India, or England. The great thing about a PLN is that teachers are exchanging ideas all the time. Bob doesn't necessarily need to exchange ideas with the other teachers either. In fact, at first, he may just want to lurk around and listen to what the other teachers are talking about. Once he gets more comfortable, he may want to start sharing ideas too. The great thing is, everybody benefits, everybody sees the exchanges. Since it's Bob's personal learning network, he can choose which teachers are interesting to him and those that are not. So to recap about a personal learning network, it's personal, it's about you. It's up to you to figure out which teachers to follow and those you'd like to interact with. A PLN is not organized by anyone, nor is it a series of meetings. No two PLNs are the same. It just happens to be the people you decide to interact with. It can be a combination of the teachers that you work with in person, in addition to teachers you interact with on Twitter. Once you throw Twitter into the mix, you can do your professional development on a laptop, on a smartphone, at home, at school, as often or as little as you want. It's PD that's most relevant to you.